This is how to set up handheld companion on the ROG Ally. First of all, open your preferred web browser. In Google, search handheld companion. Choose the first link that appears in Google. It's a GitHub link. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page where it references installers so here it is installation installers are available as an all-in-one setup choose this one and then scroll again to the bottom and choose the handheld companion.exe file save this to your preferred location on the rog ally i usually do the downloads folder which is default once this has finished downloading click it to begin the installation process. If you run into this Windows protected on your PC message, hit more info and then press run anyway. This will kind of force the install on your Windows device. Okay, give permission to install this application. Hit yes. Next on the installer, Next, I usually use the default options or anyway, this being a software that lets you adjust performance options of the console itself, it is always recommended to install in the default C location. After installing, it will prompt you to restart your device. Always do this when softwares usually require this of you in order for them to work correctly on the first boot. After your device has restarted and handheld companion is installed, open it up. Mine is on the desktop right now. Give permissions. Once you're in the home screen, let's go through a few options that you can quickly set up in order to make your games run a bit more smoothly. In the controller section, a very nice feature is emulating. Well, some games might not recognize your emulated PlayStation 4 controller. You should switch to Xbox and then this might work. So in case you have some games that don't have the right controller support, you can switch this option from here and it could possibly fix your controller issues. Next, go to device. I would always turn on configurable power TDP override. This will let the console override the power consumption of your APU and it will adjust any levels that are needed in order to suffice the game's needs. So the default option over here is OK, between 5 and 30 watts. Then go to performance. I would turn on automatic TDP so the software will give the power needed for each individual game in order to hit your desired FPS count. So turn this to on and choose your desired FPS you would want to have on the game. Based on this, the power consumption will be different. Profiles, here you can save different sets of performance profiles based on games. So let's say, for example, you will name here Valorant and then choose a certain set of options that will be associated only with this profile. So you can switch performance profiles based on games. And overlay, of course, this is a very neat feature that you will have an overlay display during games. So for example, I would choose this to full. Also, there is the hotkeys tab. What I recommend for this first tutorial is to hotkey two options, the on-screen overlay and the summon quick tools window. I have hotkeyed these on the back button so I can show you how this can be of use to you while you're in the game. Of course, from in here, you can associate with any button on the console various and a multitude of options from this software. As you can see in game we now have the handheld companion overlay and if we press the recently assigned hotkey for the quick access tools menu the tools menu will appear while you're in game. This is very, very useful. So you can change on the fly various graphical or performance settings while you're in the game. Now you know how to install 
the handheld companion on the ROG Ally.